right, welcome to Whitefire SEO screencast. This is our first ever. Um, today we're going to be talking about Google Analytics and a couple of actionable points that you can take and start running with immediately. So, uh, yes, you're going to get an inside peek at the traffic of my site. Don't be too critical. It's only been live for a few months. So, let's go through here. And there are three things I want to cover. Kind of define what all of these terms mean. Uh, what you should be looking for, and uh, red flags that you should be seeing there. Uh, then we're going to talk about how to filter out your own traffic so you've got um, data that's true to actual traffic, and, you know, not including you going through and looking at your site and re-optimizing, things like that. And then we're going to finish off with uh, a technique to see what keywords are sending you traffic and how to re-optimize for those. Visits is obviously people who are visiting your site. This is different than visitors because a single visitor can visit multiple times and that will show up as separate visits but as the same visitor. It does this by tracking the cookie it puts on their browser. Uh, page views is how many pages that they're looking at. Of all the visitors that's how many page views you've got. Uh, pages per visit obviously is uh, the number of pages a visitor views on their visits. Bounce rate is how quickly someone leaves your site. So a high bounce rate shows that they've clicked into your site either from a search result or a referring link or something like that and then bounced immediately back out. So either they hit the back button or they hit the home button, they just left your site. So visits, visitors, page views, pretty much you want all of those to be high. It is different in some cases like with page views, they can be low if it's e-commerce that you're looking at. You want people to come in, get convinced to buy your product, buy your product and leave. So that can be, if you're not focused on content, page views doesn't necessarily have to be high. Uh, same goes for bounce rate. If you're a primarily content-based site, then you want your bounce rate to be low because you want people to be coming into your site and seeing multiple pages, you know, reading related articles and so on. And for content-based, obviously that should be lower, and mine is not wonderful, so I hope you'll forgive me for that. So let's go on now to uh, how to filter out your own traffic. So this is the new version of Google Analytics, the new layout, and if you're not in this layout, you should be. Um, up here at the top, you can see old version, and right here, if you're in the old version, you should see try out the new version or something to that effect, and you can click there and you'll, you'll see this layout. So come over here to the little cog, click on that, and that will take you to this page. If you want to scroll down here to the middle and go to filters, um, I've already got this filter in place, so I'll just show you how it's done. Click new filter right there. You want to know your own IP address, so you can do that. Go to any website, what's my IP, or anything like that. Uh, once you have that, this is where you'll put it have it exclude traffic from these IP addresses. So exclude traffic from the IP addresses that are equal to and you put yours there. Hit save and it won't update retroactively meaning you're gonna have to wait and you will see the effect of it on your future traffic. It doesn't update automatically though. So that's how to filter out your own traffic and then let's move on to something that you can do immediately with the analytics here. Go to standard reporting and you'll see a whole slew of information. So we're going to focus on one specific point is how to re-optimize your site, how to know when you should be targeting other terms. So come over here to traffic sources, come down to search engine optimization, and then hit queries. Now this can be a little less than optimal because of Google's uh, recent SSL search enforcement, so sometimes you'll see the not provided keyword pop up. So come over here and I would narrow it down to the last maybe month or so. So from October 13th all the way over here to November 13th. Apply that. And we have a bunch of terms that are currently sending traffic to your site or that you can see the impressions mean your site is showing up for a search for that. You want to look at click-through rate which is CTR right here. If you have a high click-through rate, then people who see that term in the search results are clicking right through to your page. One note here, to get this page to show up, you will have to connect your Google Analytics account with your Google Webmaster Tools account. If you don't have that set up, then uh, shoot me a message on Twitter 
and I will help you out with that. It should be fairly straightforward. Uh, my Twitter handle is uh, mmonson7, and I'll give you some help there. What you want to look for in this page is a click-through rate that is significant. So when you get down here, obviously you're getting some clicks in this area, but you're not getting a whole lot of them. So a 0.05% click-through rate is pretty miserable when there's 110,000 times you're showing up. So you want a high click-through rate, and ideally you want almost at the maximum, you want your average position to be as close to one as possible. If it's already at one, then there's no reason to re-optimize. You're already at the number one position for that term, and you're getting as much traffic from it as you can. For example, this is one that I did not too long ago. The number 15 term is uh, right here, search engine commands. It has a 7% seven, like a, a seven click-through rate. We're at position almost 7, right around there. So if we have a high click-through rate and we're not at the number one position, that means we're already getting traffic for a term that we're not completely optimized for. So whether that means you want to retarget the keywords on the page or you want to build links to that page with the keywords in the anchor text or whatever. Okay, that is everything we've got today. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for more updates.